Louder. I don't think they can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I just aspirated. it. <laughs> oh, God. Iteration, aspiration. <laughs> this is part of all the part of it. <coughs> that went down the lungs. <laughs> oh. You need a tricky out of me? Hold on. <coughs> no, thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> she has a lot of knives. Welcome back to Rewind with B. Schwitty because the best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Nico's back. She she hasn't left yet. I'm still here. <laughs> We're going to be reviewing wine products and I thought, why not have Nico on to uh, review them with me? Because I got these for Christmas. Uh, these are called Caber... What are they called? Cabernazen. Cabernazens. I think they're trying to go for... Cabernazen? We're trying to go for a play on raisins. They're dark chocolate covered wine grape raisins. Uh, you you thought the raisins, right? Um, on most I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes. Oh, so is that wine making secrets? <laughs> no. We, oh, we I thought we were talking our... about food. I was like, oh, well, it, no, no, I, I mean, mean, it depends on the variety, honestly. That's true. But um, I mean. I don't make couscous with raisins. Gross. I don't like you to... You make couscous with raisins? No, I don't. I know, but people do? Oh, yeah. I didn't know I'll that. use golden raisins, maybe, but usually uh, I yeah. cut up dried apricots into little pieces. The only time I really like raisins are golden raisins like in a German yes. broccoli salad Some thing. Some cashews. Bacon, and broccoli. Yeah. yeah. A little mayonnaise. Mm, you know. Um, but, but I do love Cabernet Sauvignon. Be... Although this doesn't actually specify. It just says Cabernet. So it could be Franck. Uh, yeah, because they would race, waste Cab Franc on uh, raisins. Hey, man. Uh, so, it's a product of California. I don't know a lot about them. I've had some already, but you have not. I've not. Um, on the back it says, dark chocolate covered wine grapes. The taste of dark chocolate paired with crunchy, fruity uh, Cabernet Zins. Cabernet Zins create an entirely new taste sensation. One exploding with flavor. And nutrition. Also, there's a gram of fiber. Uh, that's probably from the seeds that they left inside. Of the... A gram of protein. Seriously. Uh, and patent is pending, but um, yeah, pending. I thought it'd be, and it's a good source of iron. Oh. Uh, I thought it'd be fun to try it not only with myself oh, but no. with Nico here. Uh, just because it gives a whole second opinion on uh, how these are. Different perspective. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how about, so when you, do you, you eat grapes off the line, right? When you're oh, sorting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. What, do you spit the seed or do you chew the seed? It kind of depends. Really? Yeah. It kind of depends. A lot of times I'll chew the seed, but mm. um, yeah, actually, yeah, it depends. You'll chew the seed. Uh, see, I always spit the seed. No, sometimes I'll chew the seed. I just, I like when it's like brown and oh, you oh, get like a yes. little toastiness, okay. yes, you know, I'm, I'm not. Uh, when it's like the perfect ripeness yeah. where it's like the seeds are crunchy, yeah. I'll probably uh, chew it too, but then I'll spit out the whole thing. But yeah, so that's like a little bit, you know, later ripening varieties yeah. and stuff. If it's like a Pinot Noir or something, I'm, I'm probably not going to be chewing on right. that seed, I'm not going to lie. Uh, so, from what I understand, these are uh, cab grapes, cab, cab grapes. We're but, assuming it's it's Cabernet Sauvignon. They did not specify, but I mean, if you're just saying Cab, I think most people assume you're saying Cabernet Sauvignon. You're not referring to Cab. Oh, we're opening. Oh yeah, I've opened mine. Um, they look like raisinets. Is that the can the candy right in the yellow package? They okay. were called raisinets, right? They still make those. I don't hate raisinets, and I don't like chocolate or raisins. <laughs> well, I like, but I can appreciate chocolate. Yeah. But I'm going to say, not to be gross, that 28 days out of the month, I don't want to eat chocolate. <laughs> okay. um, but I wonder what that means. Sometimes I do want chocolate. All right. Depends on where you get your gin. Think it and sink it. Boop. Immediate seed crunchage. Mm -hmm. I got to say... I'm just eating the seed. Yeah, Come personally, I'm you. I'm spitting the seed. It's brown though. You should have eaten that seed. I I think it's part of the experience. Okay, I will eat the seeds on the next one. I don't think. 
And unfortunately, right now, just the chocolate's really overwhelming the fruit. It is. I'm not getting any fruit. Um, maybe I'll try to spit out the seed. The seed makes it more toasty. Yeah, totally. But you don't need that because it's dark chocolate. Yeah. Which is I mean, why I, guess, I think it's over. I guess that complements the flavors, but you, I personally would want to taste the flavor of the, the grape. Mm -hmm. Which... Ooh, that was a seed. I don't know what to say. <laughs> so I didn't have this experience on the first one. I spit all of the seeds. Ooh. That extra toastiness really, it takes away from the grape, I, I, I would say. Okay. Because the whole point of a chocolate-covered raisin is the, the, the raisin meshing with the chocolate. Mm -hmm. Whereas the toastiness from the seed just makes it taste like you're eating chocolate. Mm -hmm. I don't taste any grape at all. No, I'm with you on that. Because that time I separated the seed out and I do get more of the grape. Yeah, it complements. I mean, I think the chocolate complements either way. But the seed kind of over, overwhelms. Mm -hmm. Whereas the chocolate complements the grape. Or the raisin, I guess. Yeah, no, that was that was nice. It was different. And and, I'm not, I don't hate on it either way. But if when I eat it with the seed, mm -hmm. it kind of just... Tastes like chocolate. Right. Mm -hmm. But I'm not, if I spit the seed out, I'm not like, oh yeah, Cabernet Sauvignon, like this is what this is. It's this variety. And I could, uh, that last one I just had, I could say really? it's something in the Bordeaux family at least. Okay. On the smaller ones, I would say, because there's less seed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I like the ripeness at which they make these grapes though. You know, like 30, 32 bricks, 35 bricks. I don't, I don't just like these. These are nice. I like them too. So what I like about this is that, because we know what wine grapes taste like. We know that they're tiny, tiny, small grapes. And especially cab. Um, but we get to experience that all the time. People that like come and visit during harvest and come down and they're like, Oh my god, I never knew wine grapes look mm. like they, they just think like they're giant table grapes. Yeah, yeah, totally. Whereas you see this tiny see ass... the, like skin to pulp ratio. Exactly. Like... And we don't we both don't work at like large scale wineries, so we don't see large scale uh, or grapes that look like that. Yeah, just straight straight to the hopper, yeah. like de stem crush, go to tank, no sorting, no. Yeah. Yeah. But what I'm saying is like no, there's anything wrong with that. Yeah, no, ever, like I always say, uh, like what I've said in the winemaking well, episode. There was strokes for different folks. Winemaking is generally all the same. It's just the small things in between that help you differentiate between stuff. And everyone makes wine differently, which mm -hmm. is one of the quotes from my winemaker that I always uh, have to keep to heart. You know what would be cool, though? I mean, I'm just going to elaborate on this. It's just, just the dried grape varieties without being covered in chocolate because mm -hmm. wow. then you're getting a representation of the variety without having interference from you know an outside medium and and that could be just i think kind of interesting like a concentration like say you had a zinfandel a grenache and a cab franc or something i mean and, around here i think zinfandel would be the best raisin to to make yeah Probably. But it, but maybe that would be kind of a cool experience. Patent pending. This is nice. I, it was, but there's not really enough nice. grape flesh to know what the yeah. grape is like. Yeah, this isn't there's, helping you understand. I don't think the Cabernet Sauvignon is great. Treat it like an olive. Mm. Um, yeah. Because you get... What, or cherry. Cherry, mm. yes. That is so much a <laughs> better example. Um, because you get the flesh in here. Oh, here's a fatty. I'm going to try this one. Uh, if you if you do it right, you'll get the flesh. You can spit out the seed, and you get to kind of taste what the grape tastes like, but and the, but melded with chocolate as well. It's close to what I want. I I would eat these if they came in a stocking. I am eating these because they came in a stocking. I would eat these over normal raisins. I don't like normal raisin. I would eat this over normal raisinettes, but I don't think I could do this in a movie theater. Mm, you could. People would just hate you. People are the worst. In, uh, okay, so I ate a bigger, which I thought it was two grapes clustered together. It wasn't. 
Um, it was not. Tell us about so it. So definitely get more of the great profile, mm-hmm. and it's pretty neat. Like it's it's not at all like a like a like a raisinette. It's just a regular um, chocolate covered raisin. I I don't think I would buy these. Offhand. Not no. I would if it's like sitting at the front of the register. But yeah, these are these are nice. Yeah, I, I don't, it's very tasty. I and would, somewhat oddly nutritious. Uh, again, not a sponsor. This was just a stocking stuffer. But uh, you could find these at raisin.com. That's R A Y Z Y N.com. It's a capital Z. Yeah, capital Z. And also, if you're interested in trying out chocolate covered wine raisins, mm-hmm. uh, okay. tell us about it. If you've tried it or if you are interested in finding it somewhere, or if you're uh, the owners of. Uh, oh, Don't sue us. The Wine Raisin Company. Um, say hi. Uh, let's make a brand sponsorship because I, I like these. I do too. Yeah, no, I definitely like them. I, yeah. I don't hate on them at all. There's really no complaints. Here. I would eat them again. Mm-hmm. Uh, I am eating them again. This is my second time eating these. I'm sharing them with other people. And I think it's fun for people in the wine industry to try them. It's a gateway raisin. It's a gateway raisin. Oh, God. I'm going to be <laughs> eating. I'm just going to be like raisins everywhere. Um... <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of Rewind, us reviewing uh, Cabernasins. This is Nico Fritz. Uh, she is a friend and now almost basically a contributor to Rewind. Uh, thank you so much for coming on, Nico. Thank you for helping me have some entertainment for everyone at home that's not just me staring into a camera that's right here. Um, it's, it's, it's always fun having you here. And uh, if you guys like Nico, let us know in the comments below. Say hi on Instagram. Uh, at Nico underscore sick boy. Don't send me anything weird. Yeah, uh, no dick pics. No uh, unsolicited weird shit. No, no asking to be her sugar daddy. Yeah, let's uh, keep it PG. 13. 13, yeah. Yeah. This is Nico Fritz. My name is B. Schwitty. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment, share, like, and subscribe. And I, unfortunately, not just... Not me and Nico. We'll catch you next time.